hello guys welcome to DTW tutorials welcome okay so in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you three Bible scriptures okay that you can use to overcome fear especially exam fear all right um, a lot of students even the video I did yesterday on 30 days to exam how to study some students are also commenting you know they are scared of the exam exam fear so um, as a Christian as a believer these are three scriptures that you can use okay to kill every fear in your heart in your life in your spirit okay every fear hindering you from reading okay or when you get to the exam hall you you just you, in fact everything just everything you've read just leaves you well i've seen that happen to somebody <laughs> okay so these three scriptures please if it's your first time on this channel uh, please try to subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell to be instantly notified whenever we upload a video for you okay uh, so the first thing you should know okay that's I have my notes here so first of all you should know that God has not given you fear <laughs> okay the fear is just from the devil tormenting your spirit that's where the fear is from okay and according to the scripture in 2nd Timothy 1 verse 7 it says what for God has not given you the spirit of fear you can see fear is a spirit okay my son is like <laughs> we are doing a video please all right he hasn't given you the spirit of fear you can see it's a very evil spirit okay he said but he has given you the spirit of power of love and a sound mind are you getting me so not fear he hasn't given it to you so it is not of god so you can chase it away are you with me so he has given you the spirit of power of love and a sound mind okay so that sound mind is what i'm gonna emphasize in all right a soundness of mind for you to be able to read and assimilate what you have read for understanding for knowledge okay Baby, close the window, please. Close the window. All right? For understanding, for knowledge, that's what he has given to you. Okay? So, cancel it. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. So, I want you to take the scripture, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Open your mouth. Lord, you have not given me the, the spirit of fear. Speak to yourself. I have the spirit of sound mind. I have the spirit of power and of love. Speak it to yourself. It's going to help you. Now, secondly, you should know that God is with you always. Ah, he can never leave or forsake you. And this is the scripture you should use. Isaiah 41 verse 10. He said, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. He will strengthen you to read. Okay, you say you don't have, he will strengthen you to read that book. Okay, are you with me? He said, he will help you. That's what the word of, this is the word of the Lord. Is ever true. Okay? See, let me tell you. Open your mouth and talk. Even if this is the only three scriptures I'm going to give you, you are speaking to your exam day, you will be amazed at what the word of God will do. There's power in the word of God. So speak it. He said, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with, with my righteous right hand. That is what he we do. He will help you. And let me tell you how he will help you. This is the third scripture I'm going to now. Okay? This is how he will help you. John 14, 26. He said, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, that's in Jesus' name, he said, He will teach you, you, he will teach you, all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Are you getting me? He will bring it to your remembrance in the name of Jesus, according to his word. He said, whatever I've said to you, he will bring it, whatever you've read, he will bring it to your remembrance. So it is first thing for you to cancel that fear. Pray. See, ah, let me tell you something. When you pass through, you know I'm a mother now. I've, I've gone to labor room. There are so many things when my children are sick. And all. I, there's a scripture I hold. I said, nothing shall by no means cast my young. That's in Exodus 25, 26. I speak it. None in my land shall be barren. I speak it. When the devil comes with those thoughts of something will happen to your child, you speak the word. Even if he says, is this the only scripture you know? That is his own. The scripture is, is life and forever is everlasting. Every day you speak it, it works. The word works. Are you getting me? So these three scriptures, 
These three scriptures I'm giving to you, hold on to it. The first one is what? 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Pray upon yourself the spirit of sound mind. Open your mouth and pray, okay? A closed mouth is a closed destiny. You are destined to win. The second scripture is what? Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear not, he is with you. He will help you. He will strengthen you. Now, the third scripture is what? Is John 14, 26. After he has taught you, you've read, he's going to bring everything to your remembrance. That's on that exam day. That is how the Lord will help you. So these three scriptures, meditate and pray with you. Pray with it. Every time you want to pick up your book and read, Lord, open my mind. Grant me wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Lord, retentive memory like never before. Open your mouth and pray. And he's going to do it. He's going to favor you. All right. So I, these are the scriptures I just want to use to encourage and motivate you. Okay. And please, finally, sin can hinder God's presence in your life. That's why I always say, please give your life to Christ. Turn away from every, any evil way you, you are, you've been into. You feel sometimes, we, sometimes, you know, as youth, we've done some things. We feel God can never forgive you if your parents have, you know, they say, oh, this one, nothing will happen. But God, he said, even if your mother and father forsake you, me, I will not. He said, even if the mother forgets he's suckling his, his baby he, her babe that that she's suckling even if the mother forgets you know it's hard for a mother to forget say i the lord will not are you getting me he will not he hasn't for, he hasn't forgotten you okay you are not a you know forsaken story no okay so he just come to him give him your life and he will take over live a holy and righteous life God's spirit will come upon you. His glory, his beauty will come upon you. All right? So I don't want this video to be long. <laughs> All right? But I'm just encouraging you. All right? These are the scriptures that you can use to battle fear out of your life. Okay? Out of your, you know, your life, tension, fear, just to battle it out. All right? Because it is not of God. Okay? It's a, it's a very nasty, evil spirit. All right? So it is not of God. So you... Collect what God has given to you, which is the spirit of power, of love, and a sound mind. You are destined to win. All right, take care and see you in our next video. Get the DTW Tutorials Jam CBT app today, okay, with over 20,000 past questions with correct solutions for science, art, and commercial students, all subjects for you to practice with. Get it today to support us. Thank you.